What's poppin' guys, Ether here, and as you can see from what I'm about to show you, I've gotten my GameCrafter order. It's a lot to open over the next few weeks, but first up, we're gonna open a new starter deck. Let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today in front of me, I have the Dyson Advent starter deck. This is the new Legion Core starter deck for the first set of Elysium Expedition. So you know there's a few cool things in here, I'm going to show them all of them in this video. So as I said, this is the Legion Core deck. If you remember Firestorm and Insect Oracle, Firestorm was Babylon Force and Insect Oracle was Kikido's Council. This one, obviously, Legion Core, so there's a starter deck for each of the three factions. And unlike the other two, this starter deck is only available separately, not in the two player starter kit. So, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, Dyson Advents on the front. Got my branding on the sides. I like the starter deck logo this time. It's a little bit more angular than I usually do it. And let's go through the back. Use the power of stars in the game of Astronomica with the start deck Dyson Advent. Use the overwhelming power of the Legion Corps mechs as you move the galaxy itself to your advantage. And then the same part with all the other start decks, it's the cheapest way to get into Astronomica with a 36 card complete deck. And the rule book's available to download, there's none in the box. So you know, just comparing and showing you, this starter deck not only has the exclusive super rares, but it also has an exclusive uncommon. This was to help you unify the mech play style a bit. But let's just get right into the box, you know. taking me a lot of effort, never said I was good at opening packages, and I kind of lost my uh, knife between videos. But yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah, so clearly GameCrafter box design, uh, and yeah, first of all, I'm going to separate the planets. Uh, if you're new to the channel, the planets are in a separate deck, so they have a separate card back. Easy to uh, take out of your packs when you're looking for them. And there's six in total in here, including a full art version of Alpha Centauri, which is the home planet of the Legion Corps. I'm going to take them all out and show them to you real quick. Uh, Nova Centauri, Alpha Centauri, Pluto and a full art copy of Alpha Centauri, another copy of Nova Centauri, and then Crimson Six to round it off. And those are the six planets that you will always get in the deck. Uh, and then here's the main deck. Now, I'm going to sort them real quick, but before I do, let me just show you Dyson Engine in his whole glory. Beautiful card. This unit cannot move. When this unit is played, flip any explored planets beside the one it's played on in its column face down. Very good removal. Now. The other rare in the starter deck, by the way, or the other exclusive is Maximum Upgrade. Pretty good, you know, nuke a mech, search your deck for another mech that's better, and then end your turn. So I'm going to snap real quick and sort the cards. Okay, that's better. Let's go through the cards in order, from uh, highest rarity to lowest. So first up, two copies of Dyson Engine, cover card, don't need to say more. Two copies of Ephemeral Breaker, really good Legion Core Rare. Two copies of Android Superior, pretty good like Lord type of effect. Two copies of Exploration Vanguard, now into the Uncommons. Two copies of Damage Plasma Arm, a little bit of consistency and power. One copy of Energy Burst, you never know when it's going to come in handy. And then a copy of Nanobot Injection. Then we have two copies of Maximum Upgrade. A playset of cybernetic stalkers, just good generic beaters. Two copies of support drone, and here I focus on the fact that it's drawn by my boy Robert Martinez. Uh, go yell at him to finish his game. Two copies of Siren Belt Mercenary. One copy of Yarrow Ace Pilot, and then I, I stop for a second because I hit the camera. <laughs> One copy of Camus Ace Capitalist. One copy of Starship Engineer. And one copy of Mechanical Monstrosity, also by Robbie. Now into the events here, we got two Battalion Rush. We've got two Assembly Lines. 
and then we round off the main deck with one copy of Alicite Drones. Now next up we have two copies of Alpha Centauri as mentioned before, two copies of Nova Centauri, one copy of Pluto, and one copy of Crimson Six. And that's the entire deck, in order. And that's everything you can expect to get in the box, obviously. <laughs> now, let's go into the strategies real quick. Now there are a few good cards from other starter decks or the booster packs which you can use to enhance or change the strategy. And I'm going to go over five of them right now. First up is Radiation Zone. Uh, Dyson Engine is pretty much the only removal in the starter deck, so if you want to run more, Radiation Zone is good on brand removal. Uh, here is Blazing Signet, an Iron Munitions from the Babylon Core, which is really good when paired with cards like Infernal Breaker. Being able to hit for two damage when your opponent least suspects it can win and carry games for you. Now, if you decide to change your planet base a little bit and go to Babylon, there is Helios 5 who has Iron and Mithril, and obviously his effect that lets you draw a card when he's destroyed works well with Maximum Upgrade which comes in the deck. Because not only do you get that search, but you also get to draw. And you can search either Dyson Engine, or Ephemeral Breaker, or any future mech. Plus, if you splash Mithril, you can run cards like Orbital Station Deimos or Force Feedback, which are just staples of the competitive scene at this point. Uh, so these are all good options to uh, improve your deck's consistency and strategy. By the way, if you're interested in playing the Star Deck, you can join the Discord below where there will be an untapped version of this deck list. You can also try and find matches with other people on the Discord, so give it a shot if you want to learn how to play or if you just want to try out the new cards. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, as you can see, all of the Wave 1 products are about to be finally done. Uh, we still have the cash box to go through, but all of these, including Dyson Advent, are now out on the Game Crafter. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and the new format. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more homemade TCGs in general and Astronomica, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.